Hey, Mark, uh, at this point in your career, how much did you prioritize uh, being at home and, and, and joining the Leafs again rather than uh, seeing what you could uh, get on the open market? Um, I, well, the first thing I, I, I prioritize, I think my family and my wife uh, and kids have been great uh, my whole career at being able to adapt and, and move wherever we have to. But it, it came down to uh, I'm at the stage in my career where I, I, uh, I want to take as many last cracks at, at, at having an opportunity to win. So that, those, you know, we, we thought about uh, that first and foremost as a family, but of course, uh, you know, not my, my kids not having to move schools and uh, change addresses at, at this point uh, goes a long way. So it was a, it was a perfect fit and then uh, a lot of different uh, conversations, but at the end of the day, we, we just kept coming back to how great, uh, uh, of an opportunity and how much we love this city. Obviously, both my wife and I growing up here and we wanted to, uh, you know, put the roots in and, and have the kids solidified for uh, a few years. Next, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Mark, uh, Kyle Dubas in a statement described uh, the negotiations in your role as, as you were making a tremendous sacrifice and you just laid out all the reasons why you, you would have wanted to come back to Toronto. I'm just wondering if you kind of, if you felt like you were making a sacrifice in these negotiations at all. Yeah, I, I, again, I, I mean, I just, uh, I don't know. I'm at the stage in my career where uh, I'm definitely in a, and I'm definitely blessed to, to have had the career I, I've had so far and be in a, a position, uh, you know, financially where um, uh, it's, I'm in a good spot. So I'm, I'm I wasn't worried about, uh, hard negotiating or anything like that. I just, uh, at the end of the day, I, I want to want to be here. I, I love the team and I, I wanted to, to do what I could do to help this team move forward and, and win. And uh, I'll leave it at that. I mean, all the, all the other stuff, it is what it is. And uh, I made decisions uh, for different reasons. I hear you. Um, a lot of folks in the market are trying to figure out just how close this team is to winning. We know how far you push Tampa and now we see what Tampa is doing in the second round. Uh, and yet still this core hasn't gotten past the first round. So I'm wondering how you would describe how, your belief in this team, where that's, that stems from in this group. Yeah, I have a big belief in the team. Obviously, I, like I said, that's, that was one of the top reasons uh, for me uh, wanting to come to Toronto last year at the deadline. I, I always had them circled as one of the teams uh, that I thought had a chance to win and then playing here and, and going through it with the guys and going through playoffs. I mean, um, I don't know, from my, my perspective and, and being a player on this team, it's, it's not hard to see that we're a team that's not far away from being a, you know, a true uh, contender in the league. I think Tampa Bay's, uh, we pushed them to seven games and they've had the success they've had over the last few years for a reason. And, I think you're seeing a little bit of that as playoffs go, goes on as well uh, past us. So um, I think uh, like, like all the guys in the room, I, I, I was, you know, it, it was a tough way to go out, but we all think, and we all still believe that we have a team that's, uh, that's pretty close. And we know we have to take steps to get over that hump to get by that first round. But uh, I believe in this group for sure. Next, we'll go to Terry Koshan with the Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Terry. Hey, Mark. Uh, congrats on the deal. Uh, last Tuesday, you were saying that, you know, one of the reasons why you believe is, is the work ethic of the, young, of the young guys and the stars and that sort of thing um, and why you think the team is close. Can you just expand on that and what the team as a whole and what you see uh, that makes it uh, that close, do you think, to, uh, to uh, crossing that line between winning and losing? Yeah, well, I think it's easy when you're not uh, part of it or not, you know, looking from the outside, uh, it's easy just to see the goals and the assists and, and the highlight reel stuff that you see on, uh, on TV, uh, the highlight stuff, um, you know, especially from our top guys. But then when you get in here and you see um, day in and day out uh, what the team puts in, uh, the work ethic uh, in practice and getting prepared for games, the organization as a whole, I was obviously really impressed with, uh, you know, the detail that goes into uh, little things like skill development and, and you know, just us being able to 
prepare the right way on and off the ice, I think is it's top notch. And um, and then on the ice, our top guys, I, I was really uh, impressed with uh, how the leaders on our team, um, you know, put in the time and, and play away from the puck and all that, all those things that uh, you don't see uh, unless you watch closely. So um, happy to be here, happy to be a part of it for another couple of years. And uh, hopefully we can, we can push this team to the next level. You, know, you, had, you had to get to know uh, Sheldon Keefe awfully quickly, I would guess. What, what sells you on the, on, on the head coach of this team, do you think, in the, in the job that Sheldon does? Oh, I think he's a, yeah, he's a great coach. I think uh, um, just, just being here for, I think it was 30, almost 30 games, just his bench management, the way he sees uh, uh, the game. Uh, I agree with a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, his, I guess you can call them uh, theories on the game or the way he sees it from the bench and the way he sees it in video sessions. So um, all our coaches, I thought, uh, I was impressed with obviously all our, our coaching staff and, uh, um, again, another reason, you know, why I, I really wanted to be a part of this moving forward. Great. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. We've got two more here. We'll go back to David Alter with the nation network. Hey, Mark, I remember when you came for your first game here in Toronto, I think you said you were staying at the hotel. I'm wondering what that transition was like, or if you've already started that transition of, you know, kind of being back home and, and like you said earlier about putting the roots back in, in terms of finding a place and getting settled and all that stuff. Yeah, well, I owned the place in Toronto up until, I want to say it was two or three years ago. Um, uh, and I sold it and I wish I had it now looking back, uh, but it's, it's easy to, to go back. But uh, no, we, uh, we're, we're settled in a nice little spot here in, uh, in Toronto and, and uh, moving forward, we'll probably probably look for a house uh, to get into and, and, and all that stuff. But uh, we're happy right now where we're at, where we're at and we'll, we'll eventually take care of all the off ice stuff. Feels like we have uh, some time now and uh, excited for that process. But uh, I mean, I have a ton of family here, as you guys know, friends, uh, a lot of support. So that, that goes a long way too into making those transitions easier. And um Happy that my kids can, uh, you know, see all their cousins and grandparents and, and uh, on a more regular basis than, than they have in years past. And one more for you. How important was that second year in terms of the deal? Of course, we know about the, the, the low AAV and all that stuff, but just the term. Like, how important was that for you in the negotiations? Uh, yeah, it was important. I think uh, you just feel like... Uh, uh, the team obviously wants you around for those that extra year. It's uh, makes you feel better about things. And for me, for myself, I I just feel like uh, to to get to the two years, uh, I really feel like I can establish myself even more as a you know a leader in that room and and a presence on this team. So I uh, felt really good and uh, was happy that uh, we can get you know two years locked in. Last one here. We'll go back to Dave McCarthy with NHL.com. Go ahead, Dave. Thanks, Scott. Mark, I remember last uh, Tuesday at Locker Cleanup Day, you said one of the things you really enjoy doing at this point in your career is uh, being around some of the younger players and imparting some of your wisdom and taking on a little bit of a mentorship role with, I guess, guys like Timothy and Rasmus and all that, guys that are trying to break in. When, when you were in your early stages of your career in Calgary, uh, who were some of the big influences that really did the same for you when you were trying to establish yourself? Yeah, I mean, uh, great, uh, great, a lot of great leaders in Calgary. Uh, obviously, uh, Jerome was the captain. He was uh, a guy you looked up to every day, uh, had just such a presence about him uh, in the locker room and off the ice and all that stuff. But, but um for me, it was it was guys like Rhett Warner, Robin Regeer. They were the older defensemen. Being a defenseman, uh, looking up to older defensemen on the team. Um, Brian Marchment was there when I first got there, and and uh, you know it was cool to watch those guys day in and day out. And uh, I think just you know all the young guys coming into the league now are so uh, skilled and have so much uh, talent. I think I think the the, the one thing you can help them the most with is the mental side of the game and the, the little ins and outs of the, the grind of the season and the ups and downs. And 
Um, I try to stay away from uh, trying to give too many pointers on uh, plays and, and, and skilled stuff because they're so great and they got to trust their instincts. But I think sometimes throughout games and seasons, you can really help young guys, uh, you know, mentally uh, get through some of the some of the ups and downs.